Okay, so what I say to the police department, okay, and all Americans, all the opposition view, delusions have to do with false beliefs, okay? When I said I have 22 witnesses, which is creating an abundance of evidence, okay, and that they're shining lights on me every day and they're fuming me, it is delusional to believe that the logical assumption isn't that I'm being harassed by groups, especially when I brought up the Justice Department statistics. I can't remember, but I think it was in both the phone calls, one with the dispatcher uh, and one with um, the deputy. So either they're delusional or they're ignoring an organized racist campaign against me. How could you chop that up to uh, uh, vehicle infractions alone. That's like somebody does a drive-by with high beams on and you say, well, it's just a vehicle infraction. Okay, well, there's no proof that he was shooting at you. Because I have 22 witnesses. Ah, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a vehicle infraction. Nothing we can do. So you can't open an investigation into a hate crime. Okay, so if I, if, you know, if I put a swastika outside the synagogue right now, you wouldn't put an investigation into a hate crime. If I drove away with high beams on and no one saw me, okay, then you wouldn't do an investigation. Now, how much more if 22 people saw me? You see what I'm saying? It is sick, sick what you people are doing. And you want me to sub submit myself and subject myself to that logic? And how many of you police officers are members of churches and political movements, Buddhists, communists, you know, you know light, light workers, new age people? I mean, you've got to be kidding me. So I say, you know what? Let's set up a committee to discuss this. Since you people have no problem setting up a large group of people to gang stalk me and coordinating an even a larger group of people to harass me, Okay, let's set up a committee of people, whites, Jews, LGBT, people who are reasonable, who are going to talk based on reason, kind of secular people. For me, I'm not necessarily secular, but it makes sense to do it that way so we can kind of get to the logic of the situation. Okay, what is fair here? Is it fair to persecute me when I've been saying this for quite some time? I'm willing to have a representative for an LGBT com community in a group and I'll make my videos with them. Okay, let's say we won't do that. Well, why not? You you have radio shows and CNN and all this. You let these people uh, make their you know make their you know do their interviews unharassed. Okay, so why wouldn't you allow for this? They don't have a constitutional right. So you you won't hesitate to harass me and fume me and shine lights on me and ignore the hate crimes against me, but you won't make a committee of people that will come together and discuss this and make recommendations for how we can come to, uh, for how can we can bring this thing to closure? You know, how can, you can stop harassing me? You know, what what is logical to expect from all parties involved? Should you expect me to give up my free speech? No. Should you expect me to stop arguing that Jesus is an idea that is a, a character in a story? It's like Superman is superimposed on the idea of a hero saving people, okay? The idea of Jesus is superimposed on the idea of the most ideal person who's meant to be in charge, the Alpha, right? The Alpha and the Omega, the Alpha, the King of Kings, the most ideal leader. And if he's someone like me of royal birth, okay, from the most noble tribe on the planet with a with universal scale, the Ebos, okay, then it even better. Okay, my argument is logic. Logical is sound. I'll give you another sound argument. Black people are the most stigmatized people in America. LGBT people, for example, run Hollywood and all kinds of stuff. Any black people in the success in Hollywood, it's because of LGBT people, whites and Jews in Hollywood already, helping them get that success. They're not stigmatized to the point where they didn't rise up and uh, achieve success. Also, what, what group of people had their leaders killed like black people? Martin Luther King, the Black Panthers, Malcolm X, on and on and on. What group of people was treated like this? Even abroad and Nelson Mandela. What group of people suffers these days more than black Africans? Okay? When we look at the collective total, if we look at Muslims around the world, are they suffering as much as black Africans as a group? No. So what, what people historically is stigmatized and targeted more than black people? How come every day it seems I go on the internet and I see racist talk against them in the comments? Oh, it's black people. You killed their leaders. What do you expect? Remember, I'm half black, half white. And I don't consider my culture to be a culture in uh, of this world, so to speak, right? A culture that's, you know, flesh-centric, okay? 
My culture is of principle. So you see, my arguments are logical and sound. There's people like Asians who come from a group of people, right? They come from countries where at times there's over a billion people like India and China. They come here to a strong network, okay? As less stigmatized than black people, okay? From, you know, their, their, their cultures aren't, you know, they come from cultures where they work hard and then they come here. Okay, where black people came here as slaves and were sabotaged and experimented on and abused for generations. So only it takes a dumb fucking son of a you know what to look at that situation and say, well, why aren't you doing as good as Asians? You know, why isn't there an Asian president, buddy? You know what I'm saying? The argument's stupid. And just because there was a, a part black president doesn't mean I give a shit about that. The point is they're using a broken fucking scale. They don't know what they're talking about. Okay? Even even immigrants, right? They come here, right? Look at El when they come to you know Southern California, for example. They have a strong kind of Hispanic network. There's a lot of Hispanic cops, a lot of well-established Hispanic people, okay, taking over the streets and so on and so forth. They have less obstacles than a black person born in the ghetto. That's why black people are incarcerated at the highest rate, even though there's so many Hispanic immigrants, because they're less targeted. It's pretty straightforward. It doesn't take a genius to see that when a country expresses a hatred for one race more than any other race, okay, that we expect that race to have more obstacles. People don't go on and on in the comments these days about Hispanic people. They go, you know, to the same at the same to the same rate as black people. Okay, so if you run, if, if there's a race and one person is carrying a hundred pound rate. Another person is carrying a 50 pound weight. Another person is carrying a 20 pound weight. And no, and another person is not carrying any weights and has performance enhancing fucking drugs. And the judges want to see him win. Okay. And the people who made the track wants to see him win and so on and so forth. Who do we expect to come in first? We have to, med we have to uh, factor in those obstacles. Pretty straightforward. Okay. So it is with anger. If you're from the most stigmatized group, you're the son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon. Okay, and you've been cheated your whole life. While people far less intelligent than you are are being elevated unfairly. You're the top martial arts, and there's martial arts schools across the nation making all kinds of money. Action heroes. Using that to impress women. And you're, su you're shunned for moral precision. Nobody on this planet has more reason to be angry than I do. But do they factor that in? No, because they're delusional. They ignore the abundance of evidence, the overwhelming amount of evidence, like the people in the comments who say racist things, when God made man in his image and man started in Africa, and God made the sun the most pronounced thing in nature, and black people are black and the greatest warriors. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Do the math. Does it say in the Bible in Amos 9, 7, are you not the same as Japheth unto me or some group in Ashkenaz? No, it said, are you not the same as the Cushites unto me? So all you people are Christians, Muslims, and Jews. You're delusional as hell. We races against black people. In your collective groups, to the point where you cheat me out of my right to leave, that's racist as hell. When you're so racist... And so concerned with your own flesh and blood, right, skin and kin, that you say, I'm not going to give this guy his right to lead. That's the essence of racism. Cheating the most righteous person that ever lived with a universal scale, universal pinpointed moral precision, focused moral intensity as proven. When you say, hey, that person's attractive. Why? Because you're looking at what they can be proven in, in, in that subjective sense. This is more objective. If somebody wins a race, you say, you won that race. Where well, they're not fair and square, mind you. Okay? You're looking at something that is a logical assumption, a sound conclusion. When you see me make my nine million, excuse me, my uh, uh, nine, uh, about nine year challenge, up to $5 million, you pay nothing if you lose. And pushing with focused moral intensity as the son of an immigrant from Africa turned brain surgeon and the most humanitarian one of them, okay? 
logically, you say this person is the most moral person I've ever heard of. Martin Luther King was not the top martial artist. Martin Luther King was allowed to have a certain following because he wasn't universal pinpointed moral precision in the flesh, so to speak. That's why he was allowed to get as far as he did. Then they wanted to send the message by killing him. Pretty straightforward. What other, what other assumption is there about it? You think that these guys didn't see it coming? All these racist people in the South knew that he was quote-unquote rabble-rousing? You think they didn't see it coming? That he, if they left him alone, he's going to get more and more followers. That's why they hung people for, for years before that. So I went beyond Martin Luther King. I go beyond Martin Luther King, and I go beyond every martial artist in history. How many martial artists said martial arts are about character? Their lifestyles. I have the highest cause. Universal, pinpointed, moral precision, focus, moral intensity, to the point where they have to change my image and videos and martial art demonstrations and fume and poison me. Do you do that to someone who hasn't proven their point? Or to somebody who has? So why won't they create a grouping of people that is reasonable and fair-minded to discuss these things? To discuss these things based on the facts and the empirical evidence and the overwhelming evidence. Fact, America is a racist country, collectively speaking. The sum total of America is racism. People break into groups based on race and culture where there's often a strong component of race. People listen to rock and roll and hang out together tend to be white. People listen to rap tend to be certain groups, you know, black, Hispanic, Asian, Islander, and, and those, they're, they're sub groupings. Okay, America is a factionalized, compartmentalized country where people gravitate based on race and not the content of the character. So in a broad sense, certainly it's clear cut as racist. And in a narrow sense, we've seen a long history of scientific racism that continues to this day. Facts and empirical evidence. The overwhelming amount of evidence of racist hate group activity if there's not an investigation immediately at the first sign of racist hate group activity, when it recently in the news there was a Buffalo shooting, right? Can you imagine the, 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 the department of fearing being exposed, okay? When there was recently a shooting against black people in New York where I think 10 people were killed, okay? And this guy in California, another populated state, the most populated state, says they are harassing me because of my race, and it's consistent every day, not just one or two guys I happen to pass by once in a while with their high beams on, every single day, and it's connected to the racist comments that I, that I come across co constantly on the internet. And they will not act. They're delusional if they think life is about being a coward that just rolls with a racist government. They're delusional if they call themselves Christians and they think that they're not supposed to carry their cross and seek justice for the most righteous person that ever lived. They're delusional if they have no viable counterargument to my potent arguments that I'm the most righteous person that ever lived. To say the evidence is inconclusive is like saying if I throw a kid off a fucking mountain to assume that he's going to fucking die. The evidence is inconclusive. A mountain with a steep cliff. Yeah, on some fluke, something could happen. But the 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 the, the possibility that someone could went beyond what I have done in history is so fucking slim, scientifically speaking. You're more likely to get struck by lightning every single day. Look at the races, look at the ethnic groups, look at their spectrum, look at evolution. Look at the adversity I face in this society. What adversity did they face? Did they face the same adversity? No. Can they logically say they don't have ill-gotten gains? Look at the factors here and the variables. Well, I'm out of time, but I've proven my point a million times over. If they do not create a committee immediately, and if they do not investigate these hate crimes and find them guilty because there's an overwhelming amount of evidence, there's 22 witnesses, and obviously I'm not lying. Why would a brain searching son calling in if he's making it up? I'm not Jesse Smollett here. I am the son of the most righteous brain surgeon in American history. And when I do not get justice, 
goddamn America!